Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Cox and I'm excited to share this week's patient presentation with everyone. So going over first with the anthropometrics, this patient is 84 years old, male, height of 5'9 and weight of 201 pounds and a BMI of 29.7 which is indicative of the patient being overweight. The length of stay has only been two days. However, in the past two days since he has been admitted, he has gained 31 pounds, or 18%. This was primarily due to the intake of 3,500 milliliters of fluids and only output of around 2,200 milliliters of output in the past 24 hours. The patient was admitted for atrial fibrillation with RVR. And the primary diagnosis for the past medical history uh, was CAD, AKI, heart failure with reduced EF of 15%, and shock liver syndrome. He also has a secondary diagnosis of tobacco abuse, hypertension, and hypokalemia. Now moving into the lab test, um, as you can see, there were numerous lab values that were abnormal or out of range. Um, looking at sodium, which was low, but not, not extremely low, so we're not too concerned with that. However, looking at the rest, um, with potassium, significantly low. Um, and looking at that liver and that renal function, we're really looking at the BUN and creatinine, which as you can see are abnormally high. And also going along with that, we're looking at calcium, ALT, AST, and then also the glucose value, which is slightly elevated at 137. Next, we're going to look at the medications and treatment as it relates to the nutrition professional in the clinical setting. First, looking at potassium chloride, which is to treat the hypochloremia. Also, the sodium chloride, which is to treat the hypokalemia. And uh, this patient is also on vasopressors to treat the hypotension and to increase the medial arterial pressure or the MAP. And is also on some different heart medications for his AFib. Upon entering the room, uh, we were met with his two sons. Um, and the patient was unresponsive as this patient was on a vent, and I will talk about this more uh, later in the presentation. However, looking at his social history and lifestyle history, not much was given. Um, however, we do know that he has a history of tobacco abuse and uh, also drinks alcohol excessively. He's currently retired um, and is married. We were able to perform a nutrition focused physical exam after speaking to the sons in the room to make sure that I was all right. Um, we were unable to assess the food and nutrient intake as this patient is currently in PO and is on a vent. Um, did not present weight loss as we have looked over the anthropometrics and has actually gained 31 pounds in the past two days due to fluid accumulation which we saw in the lower extremities as we perform, performed the NFPE. We also noted the loss of subcutaneous fat and also muscle mass, as mentioned in the lower extremities, um, which is indicative of fluid accumulation or edema. And we were unable to assess the grip strength. So after looking over the patient file and chart um, and seeing the patient firsthand and performing the NFPE, we were able to create this PES statement as stated, inadequate oral intake related to NPO status as evidenced by respiratory status and renal status. Moving into the nutrition intervention, we have food and nutrient delivery we also have enteral and parenteral nutrition 
This patient did have a central line, so we are able to administer PPN or TPN. However, this will be discussed later. Also, the coordination of the nutrition care by the nutrition professional, and also the collaboration and referral of nutrition care, team meetings, collaboration with other providers. Lastly, I would like to discuss the nutrition monitoring and evaluation. We are going to monitor the biochemical and lab data, the enteral nutrition intake and administration, the fluid intake, the procedures, and medical tests. The current nutrition goals are for a goal tolerance of above 50% of recommended needs. Currently, we are recommending TPN with vital 1.5 at 55 milliliters per hour, giving the patient 1,980 calories, 89 grams of protein, and 1,008 milliliters of free water. Thank you for listening to my patient presentation for this week, and I look forward to seeing everyone else's. Have a great day.